मीनिंग ऑफ मेटाफिजिकल पोइट्री मेटाफिजिकल वेन वी से मेटाफिजिकल मेटाफिजिकल पोइट्री इज कंसर्न विद द फंडामेंटल प्रॉब्लम ऑफ द नेचर ऑफ द यूनिवर्स सो यू यू कैन सी फंडामेंटल प्रॉब्लम ऑफ सो हियर आर योर टू की वर्ड्स नेचर ऑफ द यूनिवर्स एंड मैंस फंक्शन और प्लेस इन लाइफ हेलो फ्रेंड्स यू आर मोस्ट वेलकम ऑन माई यूट्यूब चैनल एंड प्लीज डोंट फर्गेट टू सब्सक्राइब माई चैनल क्लिक ऑन सब्सक्राइब हियर दोस्तों अगर आप मेरे चैनल को सब्सक्राइब करते हैं तो आपको आने वाली वीडियोस का लिंक आसानी से मिलता रहेगा आशा करता हूं कि चैनल आपकी तैयारी में हेल्पफुल होगा गुड लक फ्रेंड्स नाउ एंजॉय द वीडियो गाइस वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट मेटाफिजिकल पोइट्री टुडे एंड आफ्टर फिनिशिंग दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू गिव यू अ चैलेंज यू शुड एक्सेप्ट एंड इट विल इम्प्रूव योर यू नो नॉलेज जस्ट क्लोज योर आईज and try to speak on this topic metaphysical poetry with keywords i am going to tell you and uh, the challenge is to speak at least for 2 minutes or 3 minutes or 4 minutes you can choose any okay so when we will be finishing this work watch till the end i will underline the keywords you will write down the keywords in your diary and then you will try to speak about that topic so let's go ahead let's see what metaphysical poetry in this video we are going to talk about what metaphysical poetry is and its characteristics and some examples and related the most uh, important writer of metaphysical poetry men's place in life so here are two keywords i have given you you should note down in your diary later it will if somebody asks you what is metaphysical okay what is metaphysical so it is concerned with fundamental problems of the nature of the universe and men's function or place in life <clears throat> these keywords will help you to define this term main characteristics of metaphysical poetry it reflected the intellectual and spiritual crisis of 17th century so if somebody asks you what are main characteristics i am going to tell you four to five characteristics in this video so first is keyword for you intellectual and spiritual crisis keep in your mind this word okay so it reflected the intellectual and spiritual crisis of 17th century the poet was a man of wit displaying the sensitivity his knowledge and cleverness the leading poet was john den who is here with nice beard quite good portrait he has <clears throat> a particular type of metaphor okay metaphor is if you take a very simple definition of a metaphor simile and conceit what is difference these are simi these all three are comparisons when we say these what are these three what is you know what are the similarities these all are compa uh, comparison when when we say metaphor we are comparing simile we are comparing and in conceit we are comparing but what is difference <clears throat> difference is these two are usual comp uh, comparisons and conceit is unusual comparison right let's go ahead here uh, here is a uh, an example of conceit and this one is most important example from uh, a valediction for wedding morning by john den here two lovers are compare uh, these are compared to steep twin compasses if they be two they are two so as steep twin compasses are two <clears throat> thy soul the fixed foot make no so to move but does if the another do john den valediction for wedding the poet compares the souls of lovers to compasses if one goes away next is connected to that the conceit what it is insist on the relationship between the tanner and the weaver <clears throat> illustrate and develops the idea in detailed and over complex way often with an effect of shock or surprise this is conceit unusual images next keyword is unusual images 
okay so if we talk about metaphysical poetry we are talking about the poets who are taking unusual image, images from all fields of knowledge history geography astronomy alchemy mathematics all <clears throat> look and tomorrow lead till tell me whether both the indias of spice and mine be where thou leftest them or lie here with me ask for those kings whom thou showest yesterday and thou shalt hear all here in one badly jonder the sun rising you should write down all these examples because when these are asked in exam it will be easy to uh, to to find which category they fall in they use next is paradox so they use conceit they use paradox they use unusual images a statement which is apparently contradictory is so, though in some sense true take me to the take me to you imprison me so for i accept you israel me never shall be free nor ever chaste except you ravish me john and better my heart dramatic quality next is dramatic quality so first was conceit second was unusual uh, images they took third is paradox and fourth one is dramatic quality so keep these things in mind and then close your eyes after this video try to speak for at least 4 to 5 minutes on this topic and then this topic will be clear okay so this is kind of challenge i am giving you and let's see how much you can do and write down in comment box whether it helped you to memorize or to speak about metaphysical poetry if we are here is a tip that if you cannot speak on a topic for 4 to 5 minutes you cannot write down or you cannot analyze that topic in your examination so whenever you are preparing a topic take keywords and try to speak about that topic for at least 4 to 5 minutes whether it is uh, metaphysical poetry about some essays like romantic victorian augustan is okay so take keywords it's the game is about keywords if you know the keywords of anglo saxon poetry you will be able to describe the poetry well and you will be able to analyze the work well so <clears throat> you need to collect keywords related to a topic i have made several videos on my channel near about 200 videos i have made so you can check out you can uh, watch out some summaries you can um, you can watch the videos about history of english literature all the essays i have described now i am taking one by one uh some topics from criticism some literary terms and others so you can check out those videos too dramatic quality most poems begin in uh, medias res go and catch a falling star get with me child a metric route tell me where all past years are john and it was a song by him okay we have finished so you can see paradox unusual so take out at least four conceit paradox unusual images you can see okay here are the metaphysical poetry so let's go ahead once more about uh, this one a quick revision what we have uh, studied right now metaphysical poetry here are some keywords <clears throat> metaphysical meaning here are two keywords you need to remember for describing the work and nature of the universe men's function or place in life main characteristics first we talked about intellectual and spiritual crisis of 17th century poets was man of wit and john don john don is keyword intellectual and spiritual crisis is keyword next keyword is conceit and later on we will get this one paradoxes unusual images this is and do you remember the next one next one can you tell me what will be the next one it is paradox 
and after paradox just tell me which one dramatic quality they had okay and this is the last one so friends i hope this video is going to help you in your exam and write down in comment box whether you liked the video <clears throat> and don't forget to uh, thumbs up the video it really helps and motivates to make new videos if you want to make uh want you to make uh, you want me to make uh, sorry you want me to make uh, some more videos definitely i'll make but please thumbs up and share the video with your friends bye bye take care see you in next video